What's going on, my creatures of the night? Hope you guys enjoyed the Q&A and the live stream and all that. But now it's time to get a little serious again. Uh, I was supposed to review this album uh, last week, and I completely forgot, and I apologize to each and every one of you. Uh, this was uh, this album was uh, Flesh God Apocalypse's new release uh, entitled King. And uh, for those of you who don't know Flesh God Apocalypse, they are an Italian death metal band. Um, they, they, they started around maybe 2006 or 2007, I think. And uh, they've released about four albums, including this one, released in February of this year. So let's go ahead and start with the intro track, which as you may or may not know, the intro track is very important when it comes to listening to an album. It gives you that impression on what what you're what you're getting into basically and uh we start with a really cool intro track called um Marche Royale and uh you almost felt like you were entering a movie like uh 300 or Lord of the Rings it has an incredibly dark cinematic and orchestric sound to it uh we then lead into the first actual track of the album and man what a fantastic way to get me into this album uh the, in Aeternum 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 it, it's it's not just an amazing intro track, it's an amazing track all around. It's really fucking aggressive. And uh, it has aggressive guitar riffs that blend in awesomely with the symphonic choirs and strings. The vocals on this track were amazing as well. It's it's a track I highly, highly recommend. And um, this this song, I feel it really gets me hyped up for the rest of the album. I mean, there's so many changes within the song as well. It, its core is death metal for sure, but um, they're able to add so many other influences into the mix. It's got a bit of symphonic, uh, even progressive is uh, here and there. Uh, it's it's incredible. Um, we get into a, another another song I'd like to point out. Actually, is called "Healing Through War." Uh, it starts with a really aggressive, slower-paced riff, but it's definitely a headbanger's track. Uh, it's one of my favorites off the album. You know, it's got that it's got that pure aggression, that pure evil, that pure darkness. That's a, that's all I re really can say to describe this song. Uh, you, if you're gonna listen to this album, this is one of the songs that you really gotta listen to. You know, um, the song "The Fool" has this little intro with a harpsichord that really had this classical style to it. Um, it Bit, bit of a classical feel, you know, kind of like a Bach or Mozart even, who, which was, yeah, um, but it quickly jumps back into that, to that orchestric death metal sound that this band is known for. Uh, the song also has an incredible vocal performance. Throughout the album, it continues to deliver that symphonic orchestric uh, death metal format that Flesh God really goes for with most of their work. You even have the incorporation of the female opera vocals here and there um, in songs such as Cold as Perfection, which I thought was really cool. Um, but we eventually have a major change in the album with the song Par Paramore, uh, which really just... It's really just an Italian classically styled piano ballad, although the piano does pick up the pace a little bit throughout the track. But uh, yeah, they are an Italian death metal band, so I can understand the Italian influences in the music. Uh, it was really cool. It's nice to nice to change things up. You don't want to have everything sounding the same on the album. One song I would really like to point out on this album, a song that I highly recommend, is um, Gravity. That's it. Uh, this this song off the album was kick ass. They really delivered and gave it their hundred percent with this song. It's it's this, it's the song that you need to hear on this album. I can only I can honestly call this song symphonic death metal, and this is a symphonic this is symphonic death metal done at its absolute best. It has the aggressive guitar riffs that harmonize amazingly with those evil dark symphonic choirs. Not to mention it has an incredible guitar solo and some really cool keyboard stuff happening in the mix as well. After that, there's a few more tracks, and uh, we end with the song King, which is, uh, it starts with a, it's basically another classical piano melody. The overall mood of the piano is quite melancholic and depressing, which I found really cool. It's actually an awesome way to end the album. Uh, might I say that this album altogether was fantastic. 
probably one of the best metal albums that I've heard in 2016 so far, uh, next to a couple others. Uh, this album was awesome, man. Perfect combination of symphonic metal and death metal. And uh, that's all I really got to say about this album. Uh, you, you gotta, you gotta listen to it though. It's, it's fantastic. Um, it really shows uh, Flesh God at their absolute best, and uh, it's a great album. And got nothing bad to say about it. Uh, all I will say though that a lot of the songs did have similar sound to it, but that's kind of what Flesh God goes for, and that's kind of what you expect. So there's no, there's no negative. Uh, input towards that. But thank you guys for watching my Creatures of the Night, and uh, rock on! <laughs>